All right, so this is uh, the Roswell bathroom. Actually, it's part of Atlanta, but it's north of Roswell uh, that we're doing here. This house is a older house, obviously. You can tell by the um, fake marble tub, but um, it's probably going on about 30 years, maybe a little bit longer than 30 years. And so basically all it is is this, this one vanity area, a toilet closet, um, a secondary vanity area, and um, a clothes-in shower. Um, never been too hip on the clothes-in showers. Usually the ventilation is always an issue. As you can tell, you have a fan up there, but I don't know what the CFM is. I'm not seeing any mold or mildew, you know, big issues. There is um, just standard 4x4, four four, you know, tile in here from the day with the non sanded grout that, you know, you can get the powder out years and years later. Um, but the caulking and all that stuff was done. Um, so there's no big issues here. They're just doing an upgrade. Um, there is, however, a lot of issues with mold and mildew in the corners here, but that has a lot to do with bad caulking and probably it wasn't dried out before it got caulked and stuff like that. The bench is pretty solid. There might be some wood rot issues in there, but the bench isn't going to go back there. So I don't really worry too much about that. Um, so getting back to here, we're not doing anything with the toilet that stain. Uh, we're going to take out the tub and get rid of that completely. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to come out this other three or four inches. And we're going to frame in a base for another tub. That's going to be a drop-in, and chances are it's going to be a jacuzzi drop-in. So we're going to do the wiring for that. And there'll be inside this toilet area. Eventually there will be an access panel for the outlet that we're going to put in here for the jacuzzi tub and it will go from wall to wall all the way across. Uh, that framing will be done, the drop in will be done of the tub and there will be a backsplash, a tile backsplash around there and the face of the tub will be tile and uh, part of the deck will. The issue is that tubs are standard 59 inches this opening is not 59 inches, it's about an inch or two shy of that, so this wall is going to go away. Um, this will eventually be a knee wall, um, but it'll come up to about four foot level here. In addition to that, we're going to move this wall, this part of the knee wall will be built out probably to about here, give us another six inches, so that when we do our framing with the tub and everything, there'll be no issue when the tub gets dropped in. There'll be a little edge on both sides of tile, uh, enough room for that but we can't get it currently and that's where we're going to build this out about six inches or so. It won't really add too much I mean take away too much from the depth of the shower because <clears throat> it's pretty good size. It's about six foot going across front to back. Um, the shower, all this stuff will go. All these walls, the tile, everything, bench will go. Um, I'll replumb the drain, get that center and the, instead of a bench over there there's going to be a triangular bench over here. Not really a bench per se, but something that a woman could just go up and shave her leg. There'll be a niche on that back wall. I don't think I'm going to make it too large. Um, the shower head will need to go away because, as I said, this wall is going away. Half of it is. <coughs> and that shower head will be brought back around the wall and put on that side. Um, and there'll be a 2x2 two two tile on here, 13x13 13 13 on the walls and probably some type of decorative trim in the middle where the niche is about that level going all the way around. Um, this door is 24 inches so pretty small. We're going to actually take these switches, light switches here, and we're going to move those over probably to about here. Just give it enough room to where we can take off part of this wall going up and get a bigger opening for the new door that's going to go in there. Um, probably about 36 or so. So once that's moved and that wall is taken off and everything, then they can go ahead and put a shower door in there later that's bigger than what it currently is. And that's about all we're doing in here. Although it's going to be a lot of weight. There's a lot of weight taken out of there that, well, in addition to that, it's going to have to be beat up and taken out. Um, this thing weighs more than I do two or three times so I'm going to beat that out and uh, 
that's that's about all that I'm doing here. It's still going to take about probably seven or eight days, and this is day one. I've got the drop cost down, so we're getting ready to do the tear out here pretty soon, and I will get back when that's finished. All right, we are done with this bathroom. As you remember from the last video, uh, this tub was one of those fake marble tubs that sat kind of way in the back, had a, maybe another a uh, foot, foot and a half of room between this wall and where the tub started. That got taken out, knocked out. Um, a deck was built in this area going up flush with the wall here to bring the tub out more. And obviously we put in a jacuzzi tub, drop in jacuzzi tub once the framing was done. Um, that got tiled over. Um, the electrical got run up under the tub. But there is a... In closet here. There's a knockout access panel for the jacuzzi tub. Um, got a deck faucet that got put on and a uh, backsplash that got put around it with uh, the bull nose going around the top. And then this wall, as you remember, used to go all the way up to the ceiling. That wall got completely taken out and um, actually the wall got backed up. Well, that wall got taken out, and the secondary one, which is the knee wall that's here now, got backed up about another eight or nine inches in order to accommodate this tub. The old tub wasn't, it was actually pretty short. It went up to the edge of the window here, and we needed about another eight or nine inches, so we just kind of made another wall here, made it a knee wall, and um, took out the whole shower. And that was uh, about a ton and a half of material. Uh, it's the old lathing, mortar lathing um, situation with the lead pan and everything. So that took about a day, day and a half to just do the tear out, which is unusual. And it's also unusual considering the age of this house. But it all got done. So the old shower was taken out. The new shower was built um, without the wall, obviously, to open it up and more daylight and everything. Um, we managed to, I think there were two slabs of wood going backward up to the old tub where the step up was and we took out that wood and made everything flush along here including with the curb. Um, put a bench in the corner and if you recall there used to be a bench in the back area so there's no longer the bench back there. It's just a corner bench which actually by the time we added this eight inches back we got that eight inches by not having that bench in the in the, the back area because that was about nine or ten inches wide um, and the corner bench makes more sense because it's basically just for shaving purposes. Um, did the niche as I normally do and as I normally do I do it on a diagonal just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. In this case I didn't do a little four tile that I normally do back cut and set that in the middle because although this is a porcelain tile it's a cheap end of porcelain tile, so um, it cracks easily. And any time I try to do a back cut three times, the tile would break. So anyway, um, I did the framing with the niche as I normally do with the bull nose all the way around it. Took the tile all the way to the ceiling and uh, put in a new shower fixture. As you recall, um, the last video there was the shower fixture was on this wall. I'm stepping in and set up here so we just moved all that plumbing up under the floor and took it up on that wall right there so that's the new fixture. Um, the inside is still rather large as it was and that's kind of the overall view of the new shower. Um, customer asked me to put in towel bar uh, where it's at. Whoops. towel bar is going to go on this wall right there on the inside. That's it.